Oh yeah, folks, it's finally here. After weeks of rumors, blurry leaks, and wild speculation, the DJI Osmo 360 is officially real. And let me tell you, this isn't just a quiet entry into the 360 space. Oh no, DJI didn't sneak in through the back door. They kicked it wide open with a camera that's powerful, bold, and downright disruptive. And honestly, <laughs> I'm a mix of shocked, excited, and low-key emotional because this changes everything. So buckle up, my friends, because over the next few minutes, we're going deep into what makes the Osmo 360 an absolute game changer. And by the time we're done, you might just scream, DJI, take my money already. Let's start with the bang that broke the internet, the sensor. Oh yeah, it's confirmed, a one-inch sensor in a 360 camera. I mean, what? That's massive. This isn't just some marketing gimmick. DJI actually did it. They put a one inch beast into a palm sized camera. You know what that means? Like low light, smashed. So good, it'll make you emotional. And let's be real, most 360 cameras suffer in the shadows. But now with this, you can shoot anywhere. Day, night, studio, street, mountaintop. If you were waiting for 360 to grow up, oh yeah, folks, this is it. This part made me so happy I actually had to sit down. DJI just leveled up the entire category. Oh yes, you want resolution, you want smooth, crispy footage, well, boom. The Osmo 360 delivers native 8K at 30 frames per second. No upscaling, no trickery, just real, raw, 360 degree video goodness. And that's not even the end of it. 4K at 120 frames per second. Yes, slow motion, ultra wide cinematic shots. Let's go. 5K at 60 frames per second, that sweet spot between speed and sharpness. I mean, come on, this isn't just for fun little travel clips. This is for serious creators who want to blow people away with their visuals. This camera isn't just built for creators. It's built for people who want their content to punch you in the face with clarity. I was literally grinning like a kid on Christmas when I saw this. DJI, you mad geniuses, you've done it again. Okay, this one had me saying, wait, what? Out loud. The Osmo 360 captures 120 megapixel photos. That's not a typo. 120. My jaw hit the floor. Let's put this in perspective. Insta360 tops out around 72 megapixels. DJI just casually walked in and doubled it. Like, <laughs> cute. Here's 120. Now, let's talk about color grading. And oh man, if you're a post-production nerd like me, you're going to freak out. The Osmo 360 supports 10-bit D-Log M. You know what that means? More skies, richer skin tones, dynamic range, and color that actually feels cinematic. You can finally color grade your 360 footage without it falling apart. Thank you, DJI. This was a moment of pure joy. They didn't just think about hardware, they thought about creators, about workflow, about storytelling. And what? This shocked me in the best possible way. The built-in 1850 milliamp hour battery gives you 100 minutes of 8K video. Let me say that again, 8K, 30 frames per second, 100 minutes. Oh yeah, that's more than enough to shoot that long hike, that concert, that vlog, or whatever your story is. But wait, there's a rumored extended battery bar that could push it up to 180 minutes of 8K. That's three hours of ultra high-res footage. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I'm honestly blown away. Battery life is usually a huge pain point in 360 cameras, but this? DJI just crushed it. The Osmo 360 supports Osmo Audio, which could mean DJI Mic 3 integration is coming. If that happens, oh yes please. And yes, that magnetic quick release mount is real. It's slick, it's fast, and it's solid. Now, here's a moment of slight sadness. That rumored dual lens split view mode, no sign of it yet. Oh no, DJI, were you teasing us? Or are you holding that one for a firmware drop? Still, with everything else packed in, I'm not even mad. Okay, maybe a tiny bit mad, but mostly still hyped. In now let's talk money, here's the breakdown. Standard combo, 759 US dollars is two. Adventure combo, extended battery, Nermir invisible, $99 $49. For this level of tech, that's not just good, it's kind of unbelievable. I was ready to be angry, 
I expected this to be $999 or more, but $499, $649 with extras? That's a happy surprise if I've ever seen one. So where do we end? Let's get real for a second. This isn't DJI experimenting. This isn't some side project. This is a power play. DJI didn't just enter the 360 game, they came for the throne. And they brought the fire, one inch sensor that destroys expectations, 8K video and 120 megapixel photos, three hour battery, through grade color grading, smart, modular, powerful. Honestly, I'm excited, inspired, and just a little bit obsessed. So if you're feeling the hype like I am, drop a comment, smash that like, and hit subscribe. Because when this thing drops, oh yeah, we're going to put it through everything. Until next time, keep creating, stay passionate, and now let's talk about DJI Neo 2. Okay, so here's the deal. The DJI Neo 2 has officially been spotted in the FCC database, thanks to sharp-eyed leaker Mero Tandoy. That's a huge milestone, because FCC certification means the product is ready for sale in the US. Now, before you get too excited, this doesn't mean it's launching tomorrow. DJI could pull the trigger next week, or keep us all waiting for months. But judging from their past launch patterns, most FCC certified products go public within four to eight weeks. DJI is going for safer, more refined protection, which is perfect for indoor flying or first timers. This thing looks like it could take a few hits and keep on flying. Redesigned lightweight body. It keeps the classic mini drone silhouette, but gets a sleek refresh, more aerodynamic, more portable, and probably under that magic number of 249 grams to avoid registration in many countries. That's a win. Active Track 6.0, Focus Tracks. DJI's tracking tech is no joke, and if this rumor is true, that means buttery smooth subject tracking, smarter movement detection, and just cooler cinematic shots, all from a drone that fits in your pocket. Add in some HDR photo modes and improved dynamic range, and it's looking more and more like a tiny powerhouse. Rumor has it the Neo 2 brings real obstacle detection, possibly with front, back, and bottom sensors. That means safer flights, fewer crashes, and more confidence when flying in tight spots. But based on past DJI launches, you can expect a few bundles, maybe a controller update, and at least one surprise. Section 7. Other products coming soon. So, yeah, DJI isn't slowing down anytime soon. Why the Neo 2 might be a game changer. As for the price, Nothing's official yet, but here's the good news. All signs point to the mid-range zone, right between the ultra-budget Tello and the higher-end Mini line. We're talking around $449 to $599, which makes the Neo 2 an attractive option for beginner pilots who want pro-level features without breaking the bank. Sounds tempting, right?